So here we are, the last day of competition in Jinha Beach for the Olsan PWA World Cup. And it is set to be an exciting last day. The thermal has already kicked in. It's not strong enough to slalom. We're going to have to wait for that for later. First up, women's foiling. Finally, you guys did a slalom star start. How was that? It's not bad, no? Huh? <laughs> yeah. And you won? Yeah, yeah no, uh, no, it's uh, different to, to start with a uh, reaching start, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's good. It changed a little bit, and uh, I am happy about my speed, so now I, uh, I, I try to, to control others when I am first. Don't do any mistake because you, you can fall pretty easily, so there is already good gust. But uh, no, I, I am happy about uh, winning this race. You guys are all still on your big wings and everything? No, no, I changed my fuselage, I changed my wing, I have uh, everything small. So I decided to do that to, to be fast on the first reach. For, at the moment, it looks good, yeah. <laughs> so... It seems to pay off. Yeah. <laughs> We go one foil race for the women and a pretty exciting race but uh, it's Delphine Cousin Castell again uh, extending her lead at the top and it looks like she is gonna win this event second place and third super close locked together Marina Alabao and Marion Mortifon but now it's all about the slalom just a couple of heats to go to finish elimination two which will flip the results all around will we get a third elimination let's go find out Still in the second elimination in the second semi-final so yeah everyone's just getting ready and uh, looks like the wind is as good as it gets here so uh, yeah it should be some good action. And uh, you're still in position for a podium I think if you do well? A long way up so uh, just gonna race as best I can and uh, I'll be happy with the result. Good morning, Jordy. Yesterday's the best day of your life. Today could be even better. Yeah, well, it can always be better, I guess. The event is not finished yet. Um, well, as forecasted, there's the thermic kicking in now. Uh, so pretty sure we'll get some more action in, uh, as expected. And uh, let's see. I know since yesterday I can win, so let's try to do it again today. Right, Good luck. Thank you. Ready. They're about to potentially start the second elimination. I guess you want the wind to drop now, no? No, no, of course I want to race. Man, we've been waiting for the wind for so long, so uh, I was feeling super good. I hope I can do the same like yesterday. I'm definitely hoping for wind. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. What a race! Never give up to the last mark, eh? You just took what happened. Uh, it was super close with uh, Lena and Delphine. And uh, at the third drive, I, I think I did a great drive. And I come back to Delphine. And at the last one, I did also a great drive. And I, I get uh, into Delphine. And that's it. So I'm super happy. You're winning the event now overall. Yeah, yeah, but uh, we, we, we will do some race. So. Of course, and you'll win another one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Finalists from the first round in the final of the second round you're one of them Cedric how was that? Uh, it was tricky because uh, we go like uh, in 15 minutes we have to be ready I go at 6 and I saw everybody on 7-9 I was no way at 7-9 weather but at the end I pick up 7-9 and it was it was okay a little bit light on the first jibe and I have a good fight with Tristan but he was with big gear so I was a touch faster. Big opportunity now. Yeah I don't let it go but uh, yeah my, my goal is to race for myself uh, I'm super lucky to be here already because 
All the guys are super tuned, super ready, and me a little bit less, but I still can fight. Get some big guns behind you. Yeah, it was really hard. I actually feel a little bit bad because I had a, a bit of a collision in the first mark. I saw Jordi going a little bit wide, so I took the opportunity and, and went. But in the same time, Mateus went tight, so I touched a little bit. So yeah, and then the last drive, it was like to go in or out of the final. And then also Ethan really squeezed me into Mateus. So again, I had to go in, so a bit of dirty dancing then. So a bit ashamed, but I did it nevertheless. So that's it. That's the way it goes. No rules. All for yourself now. You're in a final, hoping to uh, do well, yeah? Yeah, great. First final with my boards. It's exciting. Let's see how it goes. What a victory! Hey, good racing! Yeah, thank you. Is that your first victory? Yeah, my first one, yeah. Been a lot, yeah? Yeah, feel amazing. Good start, what happened? Uh, good start. I was uh, on the top, but not so much. And I see there was, uh, was enough space for accelerated. And I just closed my sail and said, okay, let's go for that. Solid final from Mateo, and I think that puts you overall in the lead now. Yeah, I had a shitty start actually. Uh, I got shot with, uh, with Matteo. There was a small hole before the start. I left in the, the boat and I got a shitty start. Then it, I had a good first drive and second drive. I came back in fifth. And uh, yeah, it was again a solid race. We have to see if we do another one today. We finish it. Or... Let's see. Everyone is going fast, man. So <laughs> you have to kick the start, <laughs> otherwise you don't pass. Uh, you don't pass to the next round. It's a, it's really really high level, but uh, it's good. I like. Looks like it's going to be a straight shootout between you and Jordi in the final. You ready? It's going to be fun. All right. Well, good luck. It's going to be a straight shootout between you and Matteo. You ready? Is it? I don't know. I do the best I can. You know, I made the final again. Super happy. Because after the second elimination where I did a bit worse, I actually got the wrong gear decision. But now I'm on the right gear. Let's fucking push it. Finish with a win. How's that? It's good. I feel good because you know, I have a third and the first, and then the, actually the 20 second when I don't pass. So I'm pretty happy because I know my speed is good, and I can race good around the marks. So I'm in the game. Yeah, there you go, sweet man. So you still came second in the overalls for the event. Yeah, bah, fuck, amazing. I mean, I had a. I don't want to say shocker, but I had a bad one in the second elimination. So then everything is open, you know, because uh, I maybe did good the first one, but it was only one third of the whole event, you know. And to in the end become second is amazing. Okay, man, well done. You held them all off. You've uh, looks like you've cleaned up the event. Yeah, I tried to start close to close to Jordi to see what he was doing, and I didn't know that he was there. I saw him above me. I fa he rolled me. But then he rolled Jordi as well, was following, it was sick, cool race, yeah. it's fun. And you look pretty happy when you came over the line, it's been a, a long week I guess. It's been a long week, yeah, kind of stressful because no wind. And then the uh, last days was, uh, was cool, it was a good fight with Jordi. Off the 
third new leader of the slalom. Well done, you got that third elimination victory. Uh, yes, uh, I think I, I took a good decision because I changed my size cell just before to go. I take 7-0 and uh, no, I didn't took a really good start because we have a hole at the boat. But after I had a good speed and I arrived uh, with uh, Lilou and uh, Maël at the first mark and I, I, uh, I am happy about my speed uh, to win this uh, elimination. Almost there, I think you've got one more elimination to do is what they just announced, so get ready I guess. Yes. The Well, held on, fourth race complete, Marion chased you round, but you managed to hold on. Yes, uh, very close race. Uh, at the start we were together and she closed the door at the boat, so I don't took a really good start. But after I tried to go as fast as we can and uh, I arrived with her in, uh, at the first mark and I passed her at the jibe and uh, after I tried just to control her, but now I'm really, really happy to win this slalom event. and. Uh, Nice condition and uh, perfect. perfect. Well done. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a last day we have just had in Korea. Uh, I don't think anyone expected what we had with the forecast, but the wind come through and we had some action packed slalom heats. Let's kick off with the men. Overnight leader Jordi Vonk was looking for his first win on tour and it all went wrong in that second elimination where he pretty much crashed out. Still in the semi-final but crashed out so he had to make it all up in the third elimination. Matteo Iacchino, he was as consistent as ever and went into the third elimination in first place. And third, well it was wide open, there was a lot of people in the running. Ross Williams, Cedric Board, Tristan Algre. Um, so literally it came down to the third elimination and who made the final. The only two men making, or three men making the final, was Matteo Iacchino, Jordi Vonk, and Tristan Algre. And we thought that's it, guaranteed top three, just in which order? Matteo just needs to beat Jordi, and that would be enough finishing the top six. He did that, he smoked it. He is back on tour after disappointing France. Matteo Iacchino is back. Second place, Jordi Vonk. Yes, he did enough to get back to second. He was looking a bit worried at one point, but I'm sure he will settle for that. And then third place, we're thinking, well, Tristan Algre, he's got it. No, no, no. Antoine Albo came back and won the last elimination. And we were like, where's Tristan Algre? Is he in fifth? No. Is he in sixth? No. He's in seventh. Quick calculations, he gets it by point two. Tristan Algre, give us a dance. <laughs> He's a happy boy. But we've got to say, Antoine Albo, to get back to fourth, counting a 22.5, hats off to the big man, hats off. So there you go, that wraps up the men, full results online. Now, we're gonna talk about the women. This got very, very close. The overnight leader, Lena Erdol, was looking good and uh, looking to take that first win in 2019, but it all went wrong. Uh, it was Marion Mortifon who came back with a great victory this morning, and that put her at the top of the tree. Delphine Cousin Castell dropped to second, and obviously, Lena going from first to third. Okay, third elimination. What's going to happen? Cousin Castell comes through with the goods, taking that third elimination. Marion Mortifon left it late, but stuck in to second to keep dreams alive as a competition win. Where was Lena Erdl? She was down in the pack. Coming back from injury has taken its toll and jibing was proving difficult as she slipped further down. 
So then it came down to the fourth elimination. The discard come in, it worked it out. It was who beat who. If Delphine won, she would take the victory. If Marion won, she would take the victory. They come around the first mark, Marion was winning. But in the end, Delphine Cousin Castell was too strong and she powered through to take the win and the event victory. Marion Mortavon had to settle for second, but then there was a big scrap for third. It was between, I mean, I'll tell you, it's hectic. Uh, we had Margie Bo, we had Lilu Granier, and we had the Japanese rider, Anna Yama. All of them with eight points. They just needed to beat each other as long as they finished inside the top five in the end. <laughs> Gibbo, yeah, she finished third here last year and she finishes third here again, beating her best mate on the tour, Lilu Granier, to steal that podium away from her. Anna Yama just behind, and then obviously Lena Erdl crashed out and she dropped back, I think, to fifth place. <sighs> what a day! Uh, there was a few murmurings about Korea but it has delivered on the last day. And what a result for 2019. Women's foiling, uh, women's slalom, men's slalom, some great winners and a great week. That is it. See you at the next event.